If you were to go to the book of Acts, chapter number three, uh-huh. and if you were to meet me at the seventh verse, right. you would find these words right here. It is our custom that when the word of the Lord has been read, we stand in reverence yeah. in of that word. If you're yeah. able, you're able. Yeah. Verse 7 reads like this. And he took him by the right hand. Uh-huh. And what did he do? Lifted him up. Lifted him up. Uh-huh. And immediately his yes. feet and ankle bones received the strength. Right. Yes. Yes. And he leaped up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, yes. walking and leaping uh-huh. and praising Praise God. Yes. So he didn't just enter in as he saw so many while he was laid there, dude, right. he was what? He was Walk. leaping, yes. walking, yes. and leaping, yes. and don't leave out that last, and praising God. God. Yes. And all the people yes. saw him walking okay. and praising God. Uh-huh. And check this out. And they knew it was he. Which sat for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. Hey, that's what God will do. He's an He'll do some amazing things by way of his amazing grace. Thank you for standing for the reading of God's word. Since we want to talk about it again, lift me up. Lift me up. Last week, last week we talked about a couple of stages in life that this certain man went through. He was first in the, you remember, the limping stage. A stage or a place of dysfunction in which his life was limited. He couldn't really do for himself. Us independent people, we know, we could probably imagine that if he went from total independence to total dependence, how that would alter our life. His son, man, as a result of being in this condition, this made this man a beggar who was laying daily at the gate asking for alms of those passing by in order to just make it. You know, a few coins just to keep his head above water. And you know, oftentimes, oftentimes, many are much too ready to settle for less than God wants to give us. And what happens is that our low expectations, they rob us of miracles and blessings. The song says there are miracles and blessings for me. But it also went on to say, but you must trust God and learn to love him for it. And believe. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And keep the faith of what we cannot see. Yeah. Oh, with a yeah. Oh, Lord. Jesus, about. Yeah. Oh, I, I, you know what? I'm going to start commanding some situations. All right. uh, we need to start commanding some things. Yes. We need uh, to move, family. Out of this life, you know, in order to go to the next level, there is another level for us in Christ. Yeah. I may be down now, but I will rise. As the form before the last week said by Matt, Maya Angelou, I will. I will rise. I will rise. I will rise. Feel like air, I will rise. I don't know who I'm talking to, but the Spirit tells me I'm talking to somebody. Let's stop limping through life. Uh-huh. And allow in life to just whip us. Right, speak to it. Uh-huh. Open your mouth and speak to it. Yeah. The 
name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. They said, they said, I'm not going to put no money in your cup. But we're going to put a miracle in your cup. Sometimes, Mr. Robinson, you don't need money. Sometimes. We need a miracle. We all know in here that there's something that money can't buy. We know there are some things because they don't sell at Walmart. Amen. And, and so and so we don't need money sometimes. Uh, sometimes we need a miracle. The second stage of this certain man that we talked about last week was the lifting stage. God can, if we will allow him, God can lift our entire situation to another level. Listen, what we need to do is stop just believing God for a hand up. And start believing God for a hand up. Somebody missed that. If we got the faith to ask God for a hand out, why don't we still, since we ask him, ask him for a hand up? Ask him for a hand up. Ask him for a hand up. Peter and John spoke to the lipper. That's what he was. He was a lipper. And Peter and John spoke to the lipper and commanded him in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Now, 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 look at this family. This is radical here. This, this is radical. This is radical. Yes, it is. Ah, ah, Peter and John uh, uh, took him by his hand. This is radical here, y'all. This is powerful. Remember, remember now, remember who we're dealing with here. We're talking about a lame man. He's crippled. He's on the ground. He's a beggar. He's a beggar that's been lame since his mother's womb. And they took him by the hand and lifted him. Sometimes you gotta do something radical to get out of your situation. They lifted him. I want to be around people that lift. Not necessarily this 220 pounds. I don't have to be kind of difficult. But, 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 but I want to be around somebody that, that lift me. I want to hear songs that lift me. I want to have friends that lift me. You know, we want to have a lifting environment. Say God lifted him. You may not have had a good week this past week, but God still lifted you. You may have been disdained, discouraged, and disgusted, but God lifted you. You may have come in here today with a hung down head and a wiped out spirit. But God can lift you. Lord, lift us up where we belong. Up where the eagles fly. Oh, now it's in time. The first stage was the lifting stage. The second stage was the lifting stage. And then, hear me now, in between the second and the third stages of this man, something happened, and it happened quick. You heard the song, and he would do it suddenly. Oh, you got to hear this today. Something happened between the, the second and the third stage that happened up so quick. It's the same action, but it was a different source. Hear me now, hear me now, hear me now. The lame man started getting up. Now he was getting up by the power of Peter and John. 
Because the Bible says that he took him by the right hand and lifted him. But as he was lifted, he went from lifted to the third stage to leaping. Look at verse 8. Look at verse 8. You, you still got the Bible going, right? Look at what verse 8 says. And he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple. Walking and leaping and praising God. He went from lifting to leaping. See, when I need help, I, 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 I might just need it for, now, now don't get me wrong, I, 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 I need help, I might just need it for a few minutes. I might just need it for a few minutes. Hey, listen, 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 listen. If you'll just lift me for a minute. Oh, but because of the power of God, I'll do leaping by itself. I, I, sometimes I just need a, a God. Just lift me a little bit. I, I'll, do the, I'll do the leaping by myself. God can lift you to the point where you ultimately and eventually be leaping for joy. I'm talking about when you go from dependence to independence. Talking about Thanks, I need that, but I don't need it no more. I'm talking about breaking loose from welfare and human fare and man fare and woman's fare and sugar daddy fare and begging fare. Hey! Then I was lifted. I once was lifted. lifted. Now I've been lifted. And after I got lifted, I was so empowered by the Spirit of God, I was leaping. I had been lame since birth. I was dropped off every day just for my own personal survival. But now I've been blessed. I've been highly favored. And I thank God for it. I'm praising God for it. See, if you've never been down, and God lifted you up and brought you out. When you come to church, you come into his gates with thanksgiving and to his court with praise. You know what? I, when I was at this, looking at this, and, and, and I was thinking about this, I, I thought about Brother Jerome. I thought about Brother Jerome here. See, many don't know his story. Many don't know what the story is. Many don't know uh, what he have gone through just because he see him uh, play like he, something's wrong with him. Something is wrong with him. But you know, you know, you know, you know. I, I thought about this when I was studying. We don't know why sometimes. And, and I thought about this in this particular instance and, and how he um, overcame what he overcame. And, and sometimes you don't really understand. Well, why is he emotional? Why is he uh, gets into it like he gets into it? Why is he so involved? Why does there seem to be a spiritual smile on his face? Why is there this? And why is there that? There's a reason why tears flow. There's a reason. Because when you look back and think about it, what God has done for you, we realize that there are miracles and blessings for you. And then let me, just say, let me go a little bit further on this situation. See, all the people as it pertains to this, this, this lady, this certain man, all the people who passed this man by when he was blamed. Now, 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 check this out. Check this out. Can you imagine Nicole after he was lifted? And he, 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 he leaped past these people in verse 9. Look at verse 9. And all the people saw him walking. 
And what else was he doing? Praising yeah. God. Yeah. Can you imagine that? And, and they were saying, well, wait a minute. And I remember somebody came in that told uh, the girl uh, way back in the day, and I ain't played on these in a while. I'm going to try to play them. I can't, I can't do like you do. Okay. Right but, but can you imagine somebody that might have known him back at a certain stage? Perhaps they knew him in Brother Robinson, the living stage. And they see him up here doing all this stuff. And can't you imagine the voices being said? And we pass by at the gate called Beautiful. I can just imagine that as they were looking at this man and, and, and they said, wait a minute, that's the same dude. That was Lady David at the gate. Isn't that him? Let me break it down this way. Ain't that the girl that got pregnant? Ain't that the brother that got divorced? Ain't that the couple that had their house for closure? Ain't that the woman that went for treatment for depression? Did you see her in the service this morning? After all that she's gone through, and you see her walking and and praising God. You're walking. You're leaping. And you're praising God because he lifted you. You're not pitiful no more. You're not a mess no more. You're not depressed anymore. You know that if it had not been for the law, that was all your side. Oh, where? 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 Oh, where? What I mean? Oh, Lord Jesus the Christ. He got up that day. And it was going to be just an ordinary day for him, y'all. He was just looking for enough money to keep his head, Rachel, above water. But now, he didn't get the money he was looking for. He ended up getting a miracle. I once was lost. But now, I used to be blind. But now I can see. You know what it was? It was grace. Amazing grace. That saved a wretch yes. like me. That saved a mess. Yes. I know you ain't never been like this, so I'm just testifying personally. That saved a mess yes. like me. Yes. That saved a woeful brother yes. like me. Yes. Grace me. Yes. God is able yes. to make all grace abound yes. towards you. That you always have an all sufficiency in all things. They have abundance for every good work. God is able to have He's able to establish it. God is able to keep you from falling. God is able to save you. God is able to secure your eternity. Is there anything that's too hard for God? Is there anything too difficult for him? No matter how dark your day, God is able. No matter how high your mountain, God is able. No matter how messy your marriage, God is able. No matter how funny your finances, God is able. Listen, listen, listen. There's a bill, God can't pay. There's not a bill. God can't pay. There's not a heart. God can't heal. 
There's not a mountain high enough, a valley low enough, a river wide enough that God can't be bringing you through. Because my God, your God, He's able. I know that He can do it. He's saying He's helping through it. Just keep trusting. Just keep believing. Change will come. We have a friend, y'all, in Jesus. And needless pain that we face because we fail to take everything to the Lord. In prayer. He lifted me. Has he ever lifted you? Yes, he did. He lifted me.